What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Jason Up, New Age Revolution, down here in the cave on the eve before the eve of Steel City Con. And uh, I have gone back and forth in my head probably uh, 17 or 18 times today on whether or not I'm going. I know that might be shocking for some of you to hear, but uh, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still undecided. And I have until tomorrow at 4, which would be Thursday at 4 p.m. to uh, cancel the hotel and get you know my money back. I have not bought tickets for the show at all. Uh, those are always available at the door. Uh, yeah, it's it's the COVID freak out, man. Yeah, sure. Um, cons are really congested places. They are clusters upon clusters of people just breathing and sweating all over each other. And uh, I got a feeling that the people that I want to meet, their their lines will be longer to wait in. And so that bugs me, too. You know, standing in line for two hours for a photo op. Um, I did come up with a little bit of a plan, so my needle is leaning more toward uh, going. Uh, the plan would be to get there Friday, um, check in, and then get over to the con and buy my tickets for Saturday. Uh, the Freddy versus Jason photo op is Saturday at 2 p.m. So I would wake up Saturday morning, go to the con at 1.15 uh, get in line as close to the front of the line as possible for the Freddy vs. Jason photo op. Um, get the picture and then go back to the hotel. And at about 5.30 or so, go back to the con. The con is open until 8 p.m. on Saturday. So I figure if I go at 5, 5.30, the crowd is much less. And maybe the lack of you know, a million people will make me somehow feel better. Um, I don't know. So that's 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 the current plan that's making me think, all right, yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm going to be double masked. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't want it again, and I don't want to give it to, to these little nuggets here playing Rad Racer on the uh, NES. All right, enough of that, but there will be a vlog if I am there. Uh, you'll see the whole experience, the whole anxiety-filled experience. Um, so, uh, I went to the mail today and uh, got very bad news. Yeah, very bad news came in the mail today. I hate when that happens. You always get bad news in the mail, right? Mm, they, send you, they send you the bad news. Uh, who sent me the bad news? Well, it was my friends at XOX Customs and on Etsy, XOX by Random Treasures. And you guys, you guys, you know, when I first talked about their incredible Mr. Perfect figure, you guys went nuts and um, pretty much, you know, bought up uh, everything that XOX Customs had to offer. Um, several of you bought multiple figures. I think a few of you bought four or five figures, which is insane. Um, some of you have been showing me your paint jobs and your custom work. Uh, my man, Stotler Man, has a uh, orange Mr. Perfect singlet, and he's working on his Warlord right now, and it looks fantastic. Well... They've done it again. They have done it again. Now, this figure is very, very special. Uh, Mr. Perfect was great. I mean, A+. Plus. But according to, you know, legend, um, he was not ever planned to be in the LJN line. Obviously, had they continued into 90 or 91... Of course, Mr. Perfect would have been in the line. But for us LJN fans, um, when they started talking about the second half of the 1989 line, uh, the black cards, um, you know, Mr. Perfect was not on the original list. So we never missed what we didn't have. Uh, but there was that famous list of figures that, um, that we were teased with that never came out. 
you know, we're talking about smash of demolition and uh, the barbarian of the powers of pain. Uh, Brother Love was on that rumored list. The Bushwhackers. But those were like, you know, I, to me, those were just talk. Smash, Barbarian, and Bad News Brown were in print in the 1988, I believe, year in review PWI issue. Um, they, the Wrestling Ring had a uh, two-page ad in that magazine that said, Coming Soon. And Bad News Brown, Smash, and Barbarian were listed. And then the very next month, they were blacked out. They were gone. So we all have been dreaming of a Smash figure and a Barbarian figure and a Bad News Brown figure since 1989. Well, the fine folks at XOX Customs, on Etsy, XOX by Random Treasures, have done it. They have brought 1989 back to the collection with an absolute magical cast figure of Bad News Brown. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the Mr. Perfect figure, you know, they did a little fancy fancy work there with the Mr. Perfect figure. I've I've deduced is that a word? I've 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 concluded that uh, somehow magically with with spells and charms they uh, supersized a Scott Steiner Galoob figure and then got that beautiful 3D printed head of Mr. Perfect and put it on there and then put it all together and casted it and molded it and cooked it and baked it and all that and we got a Mr. Perfect. Well this one I can't figure out what the heck they did. I have no idea. Uh, this pose does not exist in any other wrestling figure that I've ever seen. And I was kind of looking at the bottom half of it going, well, who's, you know, whose legs are those? And I thought maybe Hacksaw Duggan for a minute, but, um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think maybe these are Hacksaw Duggan's legs. And maybe his chest. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We have a Bad News Brown figure, ladies and gentlemen. Bad News Brown. Solid. Put together. Flexy. Honestly, more flexible than Mr. Perfect. Um, this is more of a pliable figure than Mr. Perfect was. Right? Look at that. Look at that face. Look at that. I don't even know if Net and Random Treasures and XOX Customs, I don't even know if they have Bad News Brown up for sale right now on their site. This is their firstborn. That's right. I have the very first Mr. Perfect. That, I'm sorry, the very first Bad News Brown that XOX Customs did. This is the baby boy. This was their firstborn. Uh, get over to their Etsy page immediately, if you haven't already, and start placing orders and bring Bad News Brown into your LJN collection the way it should have happened in 1989. We should have had this figure. We have a completely customized head, ladies and gentlemen completely customized head and a body type unlike any of the LJNs. A brand new one of a kind body sculpt for this figure. And my, my friend Nett did the eyes for me because I said I can't, I'm struggling with the eyes. And she nailed them. She nailed them. These are worlds better than my Mr. Perfect eyes. She nailed it. Uh, and guess what the, the good thing about this and the good thing about the Mr. Perfect is XOX Customs gets the skin tone, gets the skin tone uh, as close as possible when they are making the mold. So they come out 
with the skin tone that you're going to want to use. So I did not have to paint the skin tone on Mr. Perfect. And I'm completely satisfied with that. The skin tone was not needed to paint. I think when I seal them up and shine them up a little bit, it'll look even better. But I didn't have to paint the skin tone. And I don't have to paint the skin on Bad News Brown. This is an absolutely perfect skin tone right off right out right out of the kiln right right out of the cooker bad news brown this is going to be the easiest paint job i've ever had to do we're going to do the we're going to do um very glossy black trunks we're going to do black boots we're going to do black uh knee pads and we're going to do i'm going to try to mix in a little black and white i'm going to try to get a little salt and pepper in the gray you know bad news brown now we might we might have to play with the beard a little bit to try to maybe get it a little a little lighter than jet black. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's all we got to do, and that's that's going to be a snap. And I'm going to get to work on him tonight. This should be done in no time. Uh, but here he is, and this is how he sizes up. Let's get a normal sized figure. Um, well, we'll use good old Tito again, I guess. Uh, there, they, there they are. Uh, heel to heel, Bad News Brown and Tito Santana. Looking great, right? Looking great. Heel to heel. So, you know, we got it. We got Bad News Brown finally a part of the collection. All of you guys who have ordered from XOX Customs... Uh, many of you have gotten your stuff already. Many of you have finished your stuff already. They are absolutely 100% fantastically reliable sellers. And we're blowing them up. We're blowing them up. We're, 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 we're bringing them more business than they knew what to do with. That's right. That's why I got the firstborn. I got the first one. Bad News Brown. Go get them. There's going to be more coming. There's going to be more coming. I, I did say that Razor Ramon was coming. And this is how much of a perfectionist my friend Net is over at XOX Customs. XOX by Random Treasures on Etsy. She wasn't happy with the Razor Ramon. So it's back to the drawing board. She's going to make a better one. She's going to make a better one. And she knows how much we want a Demolition Smash and a Barbarian. She knows. She knows. And the more that the more business we give her, the more she's gonna want to make us happy. So we got Bad News Brown crossed off the should have been 1989 list. I'm gonna paint him up. He's gonna look fantastic. He's gonna be giving some ghetto blasters to uh look at this. How, how does he do? Uh, oh the ghetto blaster, right? That's right. Go now. Most of you already have, but if you haven't, go now. Go now. Go to XOX by Random Treasures on Etsy. Place an order. Get the Warlord. Get Haku. Get the Big Boss Man. Get Sergeant Slaughter. Get Red Shirt Hulk Hogan. Get Ted DiBiase. Get Hacksaw Duggan. Hmm? Oh, okay. Liam, Liam has a special request for XOX. He wants a Shawn Michaels. Whatever. You're making a Razor Ramon. Shawn Michaels, 92, 91. Heartbreak kid, sexy boy. Just came off the, the heel turn. Think about it. My kid wants one, so that should be all the reason you need. But anyway, go order the figures that are outside of our reach because they are too ridiculously expensive. We're not going to pay $1,000 for a Sergeant Slaughter. You don't have to. You're going to pay a tenth of that. You're going to paint them up yourself. Or you're going to pay my friend Ned a little bit more and she's going to paint them expertly for you. I am now considered an expert painter. So I'm going to have another go at Bad News Brown. I'm going to paint him up. He'll be done by the weekend. This is going to look awesome. I can't wait. Go get the figures from XOX by Random Treasures on Etsy right now. Give them more business so that they give us more figures. They're not gonna stop. If we keep buying their stuff, they're gonna make more figures. 
And then we're going to have just an amazing collection of LJN Wrestling Superstars figures that should have been made. And we're not just talking Frankenstein customs here, ladies and gentlemen. We're not just talking about a Greg Valentine painted up to look like an Undertaker. No, indeed. We're talking about brand new molds. 3D head prints. And they come out looking like this. They come out looking like bad news brown. Go get them now. I'm going to start painting them up. Hopefully... Hopefully I'll be in the car on Friday starting the vlog off. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I uh, make the right decision. Until then, go to XOX Customs, Random Treasures, on Etsy. Make the purchase. Good night now!